Hey everyone, welcome to part 4 of my livestream series for Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, last episode, I can't remember anything significant that happened. What did we do? We uh, we finished off the cross ones, or f not finished off, we, we did like the final cross crossed ones round. Um, and we won that, it took us quite a few attempts but we got there in the end. Um, and then I think we pretty much just sort of went through story we're still sort of trying to drive through the story to uh, get to the point where we can learn to fly hopefully we're getting there pretty soon um, and yeah I think we're just gonna sort of keep trying to go through the story seeing if we can get anywhere uh, seeing if we can try and get to the point where we unlock flying currently I think we're like outside of a cave where we've been given some toast to put on a pedestal so <laughs> I guess we gotta see what happens with this toast. Alright, let's go swimming. It's a shame it's sort of auto saved just outside the cave. Yeah, I do hope there's like Why some Why would cool I need a piece charms. of toast? That can like help us. I suppose that's somewhere. where it goes. Okay, all right, let's put the toast on the pedestal. Oh, it's only like half a piece of toast too. It's not even a full piece of toast. Oh, that's cool though. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, there you go. Oh, is this a like a treasure map? So you need to use Lumos on a bridge. Uh, and then find some candles and you might see an archway. Uh, I'm guessing that's a town of some sort that's gonna like help you find the bridge. I don't know, I assume that's gonna go into our inventory hmm, somewhere. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Apollina's Could it be? Journal. A visitor? Who's this guy? Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> ah! The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Scrope. Said I might find a black yes, family isn't... ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. So he took the pages. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. That seems sketchy. Uh, why the toast? Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's <laughs> idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Yeah, whatever's right. sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Why did he have pages? I think I could guess how you died. But who did it to you? 
I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Okay. See I you suppose the if forest, that's buddy. the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Return to Scrope. Yeah, Scrope. I, I don't know, I just really couldn't remember his name. I was thinking Scrump for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why Scrump was coming to mind. Uh, but yeah, cool. Know his name again. Scrope. It's getting, is it getting dark? Like it. It's weird, like when I look in some directions it seems a bit darker than when I look in others. But I think it is just getting dark. Aren't I meant to like go back to the common room at night time? I feel like I've only had it go dark like once. And that's all part of the story and I ended up having to go back to the common room. So I don't know. Hello Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. So you're gonna me against that him. boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Ah. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. What is the feather? I do kind of want to know Rebellion. what that is. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Oh, what's these, these things? Leech juice. I don't know, but I imagine it's going to be helpful. Uh, oh, hello, what are these? Hawk lump juice. Alright, this I imagine I'm going to have to... Oh, oh, okay. Can I just stack it? Okay, there we go. And then incendio. Oh, that actually worked. Okay. I, I saw like the red glow around the thing when it went on the thing and that did flames. Yep, that is my deductive knowledge right there. Green gingham gloves. Ooh, it's a little green arrow. I'm a sh oh god, I keep throwing out the bloody cabbages. Uh, but yeah, I saw a little green arrow next to the glove, so I'm assuming you are much better, <laughs> but you're also level 12. I need to be level 12 to use you, so we have to wait a tiny little bit. Yeah, bloody cabbages. What's that? Can I do anything with that? Incendio. No, not looking like it. Okay. I don't know what to do. Oh, these things actually just move around as well. Can I pick you up? Nope. I just demolished it. Okay. Never mind. Uh, okay, let's keep running. I wanted to go up here. Ah, oh, my next quest is locked. I need to find out what's uh, why it's locked and what I need to do. But I just want to go to this feather because I don't know what the feather is. And I am intrigued. That looks like it's going to be something to do with it. What do you have in store for me this time? <clears throat> okay, so we want. Mellow thing. This is one of those Merlin uh, thingy-ma-bobs. Oh yeah, I think this one is literally just gonna be no. How do you? Okay. Levioso. Hmm. Assuming I can't just push you. Akio. I 
don't think I have any spells that do like pushing, do I? Or well, I don't, but that might be what I need. Oh, the sendo looks rough. What are you? Flippendo. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I reckon the pulso is what I need. Although it deals no direct damage to foes, enemies and objects alike can be launched into each other with destructive results, also useful for pushing and spinning objects for a variety of purposes. Um, <coughs> when a summoned object reaches you, automatically cast Wingardium Leviosa to continue levitating and controlling it without need for additional button inputs. Okay. Uh, yes, I reckon I need to Pulso for this one then. I don't think we can do this. Um, right, let's go back to, well not go back to, but let's hover over and see what we need. Jackdaw's Rest, I need to learn Disarming Charm, before I can follow Richard Jackdaw's Ghost. Disarming sounds like Defense Against the Dark Arts. Uh, but, well you, the Anthenaeum. The Amphenium, mysterious room beneath restricted section. Oh, okay, that place. Yeah, I want to go to the greenhouse because I've got some dittany seeds that should be grown by now. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased okay. to be included. Where is? Is it down here? I think it is down here. <coughs> No? Ooh. Don't. Wow, that is deep. I was not expecting that. Uh. Huh. Or is it because it's late? Oh no, okay, there is doors here. I don't know which one I need to go in. Oh, there's only actually. Wait. Oh no, there is more. Oh, I didn't think I could get in. Okay, that's it. This is where I need to be. Never mind. Panic over, we're good. Okay, so it literally just stays planted and you just keep, you can just keep doing it. Uh, okay, do I need to go to potions class to create more potions? Uh, what are you? Central Hall potions classroom. What was that? Uh, We are running out of Wigan Worlds. Off on another adventure, are we? So I do very much want to make some more if I can. Where do we go in here? Over here, interact. Wigan World. It's only one bottle as well. Potion Hunts and Drinkers Defense by covering them with durable rocky skin. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Hall Clump Juice. Okay, so we know where to find Hall Clump Juice. And we can grow Dittany. But yeah, I, I don't know, it's a little bit annoying having to wait 15 seconds per potion. And it's only making one bottle. How economical is it just to buy potions? I feel like it's probably not great. I wonder if there's like a potion that you can just like easily make that costs a lot like when you sell it. Uh, right, Wigan Worlds, we got another free. Because the other thing is about the Wigan Worlds as well, it like does tiny bits of health. I wonder if it actually says how much it does. Journal map with floating candles. Uh, do, 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 uh, collections, maybe potions. 
AIDS in healing and restores a bit of the... Oh, AIDS in healing. So it heals you a little bit and then maybe it gives you a little bit of regeneration. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, where did we want to go? I feel like defense against the dark arts. I'm pretty sure there is a mission she had available for us. And that seems like the kind of place that a disarm spell would come from. <clears throat> How nice to see you, my young friend. Although, it does literally say learn disarming charm. So maybe it's a charm. You can advance time by exiting a map and pressing F. I'm, I'm a is that because I need to progress time? Revelio! Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hoggle? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Oh. Time itself? Oh, she's not as old as we all think. I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard, that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, <laughs> I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief both inside and outside of the castle. Okay. Oh wait, it is actually on the map. Am I tracking? Oh, whoa. What am I tracking? Oh no, I am just tracking this. Okay, yeah, so that's not very helpful. And then go to uh, go 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 into Hogwarts. So I'm right. No, no. Oh, actually, we wanted to be in the map, didn't we? Just press time with F. Yes. Okay. All right. So we have progressed, and now I'm assuming that means we're daytime. What now? Okay. Thought about watching right now. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, that was interesting. I'm so confused. What did what did I accomplish from that? I hope you were able to take care of Professor. I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming oh, charm may go. often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand.
Cool. There you go. We've got the thing. Good work. <laughs> the dummy is here <laughs> if you wish cool. to stay in practice. What is it? Something, something, something. What are you? Disarm, that's it. Disarm charm. Almost enemies who love them also deals damage to all enemies, even if they do not carry a weapon. Ah, oh, interesting. Put that in place of incendio. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Okay. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Accio. Expelliarmus. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. I think we will go to the place. Uh, what about? Oh, well, we can go over here. We've got flu flame over here, so we'll do this. And then we need to go to the Forbidden Forest. So this will be our first little trip into the Forbidden Forest. I mean, I imagine this means we're going to get like jumped by I've some dark wizards. So, travel I mean. broadens the mind. Oh yeah, look, it's literally right outside the Forbidden Forest. Forbidden Forest. See, to me, that sign says no death. Um, like skull and crossbones with a cross for it. Uh, this area has been declared dangerous by the Ministry of Magic. Your danger signs mean nothing. I'm Barnacle Bob, I go where I please. There's some weird sounds. Oh, hello. Little chicken pheasant things. Uh, but you can't really do it. Levioso! No. No. Accio! Okay, no, nothing. You can't do anything with it. Is this dangerous? Dangerous. Okay. <coughs> What was that? What was the little flashy thing? Oh, wait, are they following me? No. Okay. I thought they were for a second. Man, I imagine you get like loads of nice materials in here. Ooh, what's this? Do I get anything on here? Get some galleons. Whoa. What's that? Oh. Do we risk this? There looks uh, there's some red triangles on the map. I assume that's enemies. Oh, we can do this actually. See if we can sneak in. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. Where is this chest? I assume it's, it's all in about that having a keen eye, there, isn't it? Take me for instance. My eyes as keen as a nifflers on a pile of gold, or a logtail to a sow. Huh? I'm not bragging. That's just the truth, Aze. Can't help me natural gifts now, can I? Fangs free. Is this a trait? I think you can add like traits to gears, which I haven't found any traits yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna try getting these materials. Got them. Okay, thanks, people. I'm done. Was a pleasure. Wondering. Here I am, as good as my oh, word. Oh, okay, that was it. I think we have to go over. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm wondering if we'll get the chance to use Expelliarmus here, and that might be sort of the best way to test, see how useful it is. And if it is really good, we might go back to that little poacher bit, because it's. I'm not sure. There's like another icon on the map, and I'm not sure if that's just because it's like a poacher bit. Or if there's something else I need to discover there, so I might need to take them out anyway. We meet again. <coughs> I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? 
Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Ooh, okay. Aside from the bird bath, like anything bird else bath. I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather Ooh, fortunately spiders. coming back to me. What's this? Oh, it's just Forbidden Forest. Spiders. Blue flame. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to what the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Sorry, um, I don't really care. Spider lair. Den inhabited by spiders. Dark arts battle arena. Fight waves of enemies in this battle arena with uh, with the unforgivable curses, as well as the blasting curse Confringo, in addition to their unique and devastating effects. Unforgivable curses break through all shield charms. We don't have any of those yet. Oh, Greek. Hmm. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to deal with all these spiders, aren't I? Let me Expel Uh, I kind of want to put you here. Oh. Uh, oh. oh god. No. Ah. <laughs> oh god. This is this just gone horribly, horribly wrong. I uh, I, don't, I don't even know what happened there. Uh, yeah, I think I don't. Yeah, got nothing. Got nothing for that. That just was not you my can't best. Imagine how okay, I'm gonna leave disillusionment on, and I do want to kind of try you out. Uh, you can still sense me, can't you? Nope. Oh, cool plum juice. Oh, never mind. Ah. Ah. Nothing for you now, but keep going. Expel the armors. Uh, hmm. So, we can't really sneak by. Or well, we probably can if I was a little bit more patient. But we're not going to try. We're going to try just fighting our way through. So I think we need Incendio. We've not really got anything else that would help. Kind of curious to see if actually Lumos... Can, can I scare off the spiders with some light? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Uh, 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 T. Get Incendio up there. Okay. We're gonna go Lemioso. Incendio. Oh no, we're too far away. Oh god. Oh, that did so much damage though. Oh my god. Nah, that has. K 
keep an enemy airborne 10 seconds. But yeah, I kind of fudged up my incendio because we wasn't close enough. Um, but yeah, so there's literally nothing else we can use. But we can. Levioso, Accio, do this. Incendio, Expelliarmus. Um. Oh, hello. Levioso. Oh, what the hell happened there? Accio, Incendio. Levio. I don't know what. Uh, wait, so does like pulling them out of the ground when they're digging down just instantly kill? <clears throat> Either way, this is not my finest moments. This is struggling with this bit. I have to say. Handy struggling. resource indeed, your field guide. Uh, right, let's do Levioso. this. Accio. Incendio. Hey, yay, yay. Oh, God. Ah, it's just like so hard to get out of them when they start ping ponging you around. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be spending most of my night doing this, aren't I? Battling some spiders. Um, oh, sorry, I wasn't meant to press escape. I wanted to press D. Get this. Thank you. Super little spiders as well. Oh god. Man, what gear do I have on? Do I not have some maybe better gear? Do I have some more like defensive gear I can stick on? I think I've got like Aerith 19. Although we have got how do you do traits then? Right, uh, do I go inventory? No. Collections? Traits? Yeah, so you are. It significantly increased Chinese chomping cabbage damage. Oh, it's not as good as I'd be hoping. But, yeah, I don't really have much going on. <clears throat> no. Okay, nothing. Just gotta keep going till we do this. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Akia, do that. Incendio. Do you. Get that, thank you. Nothing now, but keep going. Oh. Protego! Oh god. That that just instantly killed me, didn't it? Oh god. Yeah, so the spider did an unblockable. So I should have dodged, but I didn't dodge. Right. So, I've noticed there are like egg sacs around, so if I destroy those as well. Accio. Incendio! 
Oh, we didn't get it. Levioso. Incendio. Nothing to do now, but keep going. No. Okay. Oh. No. No. What got me? What got me that time? Oh, man. Oh, I'm struggling with this. Okay, okay. Oh, I just nice can't really, you, like, pick friend. them off. Accio. Incendio. You should be fine. Alright. Incendio. Ah, no. Incendio. That should be fine. Oh, okay. Oh. Incendio. Let me also. Expelli. Nothing to do now, but keep going. Oh, it was spits at you. Ah. No, that's killed me, isn't it? No. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 we're just trying to dodge. Oh, oh my god, that didn't even finish it. Oh god. What a die, it spat at me again. Oh man. Wait, uh, maybe it's in my. Maybe I'm missing something from my collections because it gives you like the creatures you've encountered, doesn't it? And then it gives you like weaknesses. Uh, or we could use our Edorus potion as well. Edorus, whatever it was called. Um, collections. Beasts. Nope. Revelio, ingredients, broom. Enemies. There you go, alright. Fawn back. They're quite vulnerable to fire, especially at low health. Fire attacks will ignite the spider while it's. I think will ignite the spider while it is low on health, causing it to skitter about frantically before it dies. If it takes further damage before it dies, it will explode, hitting nearby targets. These spiders begin to burrow. Flipendo will rip them out of the ground, dealing massive damage. Back hatchling. Oh, what was that? The matriarch? No, Scurrier. What are you? Thornback hatchling. These deal light damage but can add up quickly when a swarm of them attack. Oh, okay, these are the tiny little ones. Easily defeated by almost any attack and will even die when they strike a simple shield charm. What about the matriarch though? Tools, wand handles, traits. Hmm. What's these? Does these actually give you anything? No, it doesn't. Okay. <clears throat> right, so yeah, fire is my best bet. Levioso seems to rip them out of the ground as well, so you don't really need flipendo. Yeah. Mm. What are you yeah. up to now? Don't know what to do about this matriarch though. Uh, yes. Oh. Incendio. No. Oh. Oh, 
killed me. <laughs> oh, there's just so much going on. Am I just like doing something very particularly wrong? I don't I don't understand. I don't uh, should I just not be here yet? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what the? Why, why, why? I mean, no, this is good. Oh god, no, you break through that, I forgot, and not dead yet. Uh, oh god, it's so difficult. Oh god. Oh man! Yeah, fallen back matriarch does some insane damage. Oh, uh, saying to equip better gear. I don't don't have better gear. Maybe we have progressed through the story too quickly, but no, we are doing it. Uh, what did I want to check? Oh no, yeah, I did want to go here. So I want to go collections, enemies. Yeah, there we go. I thought so. Oh no, you're a shooter. There was a shooter. Oh no, the matriarch is there too now. But so for a tank spitting acid. Oh, it's. I thought it was actually the. Um, I thought it was the matriarch that was spitting at me. Okay, yeah, this is talking about spells I don't have. Okay. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. No, I'm just gonna go for it. Expelling arms. Do that. Potato. Incendium. Oh. Incendium. Ah, shoot. Oh, I keep doing a shield rather than the thing. I keep doing shield rather than dodging. I mean, how long do I give this until I just give up? Wait, am I not even meant to go here? Am I meant to walk around? I am actually meant to walk around. Ah, but now I feel committed to the getting these spiders. Have I really been doing this this whole time and I don't actually need to do it? Expelling armors! Uh... Protego! Stupid one! Nothing to do now, but keep going. Oh my god, oh no, I thought we did it. Wait, what? Did we do it? Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Did we do it? Oh my god. Oh, have we actually done it? Oh my god. Oh, how, what, what happens when we go through here though? That is the question. What is this? Oh, it's a spider thing. Uh, oh yeah. Incendio. Incendio gets rid of firewebs. Uh, 
Yeah, so we legit just could have walked around that. If I wanted this little excitement, I'd have a job at a bank. Oh, no. No thanks. Not gonna do that. Revelio. Didn't want to do that either, but... The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. That waterfall. Oh, waterfall. Okay. And is there any more ingredients around here? There is. Okay, well, I can't really do anything with that, it doesn't seem, but... Okay... Oh, I'm Rebellio. Going to Rebellio stuff. There's some stuff over there, there's some something mushroom. oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Where were they? Over here? These are more leeches, aren't they? Yep. I'm sure leech juice will come in handy. Oh, I didn't collect that. Wait. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. This gives me the little gateway. Is there anything over here? No. Oh. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh, whoa, whoa. You're the Always on the defensive. Let me. Combat feet. I wonder what the combat feet actually does for you. So I needed to keep an enemy airborne for 10 seconds. Oh, I still can't believe how much time we wasted on those spiders, considering we could have just walked around. Oh, that's that's painful. But we actually did it. We I wonder how big this place is. Yeah, look at this. We need these for our vegan worlds. This looks... Oh no, it's just searching. There's spiders, okay. Like that. Jack go. Oh, he mentioned a stone bridge, didn't he? Is this the stone bridge he was talking about, or have we already gone past the stone bridge he was talking about? Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I've got my finger on the dodge button. Because I don't trust this place. I wonder if any of these spells will help me through this. Oh, spiders. Oh, there are. Oh, my lord. Incendio! Oh, no. Incendio! No! Too far away! Got you! Oh, correct! Incendio! Okay. Ooh, 
Okay, yeah, they were a lot lower level than the other ones. Much lower level. Okay, I think I need to go this way, but this way looks more interesting. Oh my god, okay, this is the good spiders. They're non attacking. I'm not going to touch those. Oh, oh crap. Oh my lord. There's a lot going on right now. That one. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Protego. Incendio. Accio. Expelliarmus. I know you need spider fangs for, because now I'm getting quite a lot of spider fangs. Oh, man, so many spider fangs. Oh, look at that chest. Come on, it's got to be something pretty awesome. Kraken cloak. Uh, interesting. Uh, what's the best way to get to gear? Oh, pressing I gets you to gear. What are you? Oh, 28, up 11. Man. How do you do traits, though? Do I need to learn that? Because you've got trait slots, trait slot levels. But, like, in here you've got Equip, destroy, compare. There's nothing to actually like add traits. I mean, Crack and Cloak actually looks quite cool. To be fair. Do. No. Want to. Oh, you can actually do hood on, hood off. But I want to change appearance. I do want to go back to the Dark Arts. The dark Arts robe is just too good. Uh, what was it? We had gloves. Still not level 12 yet. Oh, we're so close. Okay, still not level 12 though. Okay. Definitely worth coming in here. And that was not as terrifying as the spider lair. And it oddly seemed to pay off more than the spider lair as well. I can't even remember what we got from the spider lair. Yeah, there does seem to be a nice amount of resources in here too. Oh, hello. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. Spiders, eight out of twenty. Got a nice little chest there, though. And then I think Rebellion. there was some uh, resources down here. What are you? Chitterling leaves. Nice. We need that for thing images. What are they called? Wigan worlds. We need that for our vegan worlds. Nice. It's easy. Uh, oh, nice. Nice stuff in here. Although it doesn't look like I can actually do anything with any of it. There's a chest. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Fringed forest lock scarf. Should have just pressed I. Offense again, up five. I'm just gonna have to do. We want the 
We want the stats over the traits that we don't know how to get. Help so myself to this. There, there was nowhere else to go, was there? Not really, doesn't look like it. Oh. Didn't actually want to do that there, but it's fine. Just seeing if there's more moonstone, there wasn't really. Incendio! Predigo! Stupid! Expelliarmus! Stupid! Another puzzle. But if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Okay. Cursed fiends. Oh. oh. I'm assuming that's just a bridge. But oh, that looks kind of cool. Rebellion. Rebellion. Anything around here? Oh, what's this? Is this inside? I think that must be inside this cave. Oh, nice. More hook clump. No, we got some more stuff. Some more galleons. Rebellion. Oh, shame that doesn't count as like destroying spiders. I assume there's going to be some that drop out here anyway. <coughs> this just looks like it goes in a loop, so we might as well come up here. Look at that, there's a nice little chest over here. So, That's a lot. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Oh, spiders. Accio. Oh. Go over here because this just looks like a little hidden area. Another chest. Gonna be a tiny amount of galleons. An <laughs> untouched course. chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I wonder what this little voice line is leading to. Why do we care that he wasn't picking up these chests? Or why is it important he wasn't picking up these chests? Incendio! Oh. An enemy of ancient magic. So what does that give me though? What is what is the dueling feats thing for? Do I get XP? Oh, I don't know what it's for. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Accio! Ah, oh, that's a shame. I was hoping I could Accio that. That'd have been pleasant. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? That's a lot. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loop, but there's no sign of him. Rebellion. 
Wait, is this? Cancelled it and then it did. Revelio. What did that give me? Uh. Akio. An untouched chest. Tactile wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Oh, Wigan Worlds. Revelio. Ah. How do we get up to that? My meant to. I have a feeling I was meant to stop like halfway. Akio! Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, that looks like a nice chest over there. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Oh, hmm, I'm sure I can help myself. appearance to no hat that works for me okay pretty sure we're done with this Revelio That's the way we go on, I think. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. There you go. More spiders. These can't be what they're heading with, Jack. Rodego! Stupid one. Incendio! Oh, come on. Expelliarmus! Accio! Accio! Incendium. Oh, wow. Where did you come from? Alright, because I need to use Protego. Ah, come on. No, okay, that's fine. Oh, come on. Right, three more times. Two more times. Ah, oh, this thing doesn't make using Protego easy, does it? One more time. So I think we got 85 XP in the last fight. So, see what we do with two dueling feats. There we go. And then just finish that off. And he gave me 10 XP. Simply too many. Oh, come on. Is there two matriarchs? Who is this rubbish? Oh, okay. Incendio. No, well, that went well, didn't it? 
Expelliant. Accio. Incendio. There you go, let's draw the Incendio off. Here's the ancient magic. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, so also I kept that spider alive for so long. I kept the spider alive for so long. And I didn't need to because that was all part of the same battle. One. So historically, there's been Might three of these Jack things. Would have been interested in this loot, so but there's no where are all these other ones? Revelio. Who are you? Oh, Mallow Sweet. Nice. I need to look around for the symbol. There's another one up there. Revelio. So where was that? Oh no, that's the one I found. Oh, there it is. And that should be it. So I'm assuming the twist here is that Jack Door is getting us to go here for his own means. And then he probably didn't actually get this far. Oh what? Is there actually another one? Oh we need to do it. Oh okay right. They are like sort of timed. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Oh, do you, you, and you. There we go. So I didn't realise that. They're on a timer, so you've got to do them all quickly. I thought it just didn't really matter, and you just did them as and when you saw them. Uh, you know, I really want to know what level those spiders were then. Because it was saying about it being like a higher level, so you should get better gear. Must be getting level. closer to Jackal's remains and those pages. They're, yeah, they're being <laughs> definitely a lot harder than the ones we've been facing, which is around our level. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Ah, Thank okay, Jackdaw did get this safe far. all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. These slots are full. Is there something beyond this room? Oh, hello. No, we're not going to do that. Oh god. Ancient magic to smash him to pieces. Ah, incendio is oh god, poor. We are out of Wigan Wells. No, we should stick to the one. Incendio. 
dodge. Nice, there we go. Ah, oh, yeah, so it's not that bad when I'm fighting stuff my own level. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? Oh, little wisps of magic are leading me here. Queen Gods and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. Get to the door! Or don't, just stand there. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Oh, kind of cool. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of it. What is this place? Whoa, this place looks like a place for a jewel. pretty cool. Uh, it's just one of them. I imagine this is going to be like the four that saved that Hamlet. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention and... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't mm. have the book That's with me, sir. Do we have mm. it? <laughs> that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. I'll bring Very the book well. here. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. So we we shall speak again Professor once Fig, the book then? is in place. Connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. So you have one talent point each time you increase your wizard in level. Your new talent points are spent in the talent menu in your field guide. Starting, you earn talent points starting at level 5. You may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells, increase your combat powers, stealth, and more. Choose wisely, talent points may only be spent once, and the number of talent points you acquire will be limited. I mean, dark arts is where we want to be. We're going down a dark pathway. I see curse on enemy, curse enemies take increased damage. Stupefy. Expelling armor is the same effect as curse. Enemies, curse enemies. 
uh, dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Oh, that's pretty mean, that is. That's, so that could be three of them. Just a sprint. That's quite nice. Texture is reduced. Petrificus totalis emanates an area of effect that can impact nearby enemies. Mm, not massively concerned with a stealth route. Vulnerable and deflects projectiles. For each Chinese chomper cabbage, throwing a second chomping cabbage is generated and released at no cost. Invisibility potion potency. Maxima. Uh, damage and duration of incapacitating effect. Mandrakes are increased. Thunderbrew. Focus. Noxious. Mm, kind of wish there was more Wigan World. Casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flame. Want that. Fendo cast slice through impacted enemies. Accio mastery enemies near a target summoned by. I, I see. I kind of don't really want that. I like Accio to sort of split people off from the group. I don't want the whole group near me. Although I suppose paired with the incendio mastery, that could be beneficial. See that I don't mind. Okay, what is going on in the core then? A new spell set is added. Ah, oh, there you go. Heals the greater effect. We want the Wigan World. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. Ancient Magic Throw. Ninja Magic Throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Successful Protego blocks contribute to the Ancient Magic. Perfect Protego blocks contribute even more. So this is one, two. So that leaves me two. I kind of want all three of these though. Stupefy. Spelliarmus. Dealing damage to cursed enemies. And then I'll take one of these. Extra ancient magic. Reduced cooldown. We'll take, rec we'll take reduced cooldown. But yeah, so Expelliarmus is going to curse enemies now. Which would be nice. Right, we need to exit the map chamber. Oh, there you go, sorry, we have to press F. I thought I was just going to have to walk through. But yeah, Dark Arts. Dark Arts is where it's at. We're, we're going down a Dark Arts route. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? How oh, nice to see you, my Where are we? Are we going to be in Hogwarts now? That was a big H. And the little candle holder pedestal things. We actually in Hogwarts. I'm back at Hogwarts. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my stuff this way. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Rebellion. Sleeping Dragon Statue, Hogwarts, Motto, Draco, Dormians, Nunquam, Titalandus, 
Wow, means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. I mean, McGonagall makes those stone statues come to life, so why can't that happen here? With a dragon. Hmm. Revelio. I I don't know why I didn't read that one. But we didn't. We didn't read it. Where are we? Goblin artifact. Horns like these were used by goblins during the Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches or wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind Hog's Head in with a wedge of Gorgon Solar stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Okie dokie. Alright, where do we need to go? Uh, I want to go potions class. Got to grind out some of these Wigan welds. Just now, talents go back to the core. Just want to take a look. Basic cast impacts air on enemies, contribute more. Modern spell will send two projectiles back, increase range of Revelio. Oh, that's nice. Don't contribute to ancient magic. It's done with a longer period. You're just a talent set. Wigan World again. Stupefy deals direct damage. Okay. No. Yeah, there's nothing of particular. I was hoping for something that'll make you like craft faster. Oh man. I feel like pauses this brewing time as well when I'm in that menu. Oh. This game is just so grindy. Uh, but yeah, it's hoping for something that would like either decrease crafting time or give me like more of a yield. It's nice that it's gonna have more of an effect. So maybe I don't need to use that much, but it's like how much more of an effect is it gonna have? That's what we need to know. Does this like contribute to anything? Am I getting like XP from crafting these or is it literally just giving me the potion? Doesn't seem like I'm getting anything else out of it. <clears throat> Alright, we could just craft some Edoras as well. Or Edoras. Because the extra defense I imagine is helpful in a pinch. Oh, we don't have anything anyway. That's 30 seconds. Okay. I'm going to run uh, to this next quest. Because...
because I just want to see if we can like pick up anything. What are you? Secret rooms, room of requirement, and the map chamber. Okay. I've always said All right, puzzle door. I need to try again. So I was along the right lines when I was doing this. I Apparently though it starts from zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Okay, yeah, but well, well apparently it starts from zero. So zero, one, two. So that's thirteen, seven, eight. One, two, seven. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's a spider. Where's the... Oh, you're over here. No? Where's the other Revelio. one? Revelio. Why are you funny? I'm so confused. Where's the double question mark one? What is that? Uh, what do we need anyway? See so your little crab thing. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, five plus nine, fourteen. We need three. So we need little dragon, three-headed dragon. What was this thing I was seeing up here? Aha. Yeah, I saw this from the Revelio. So, three headed dragon. Now open. See, it just makes no sense. Why is it start from zero? Why is it starting from zero rather than one? Ah, uh, gear slots on full. Oh, go to flying class! No way! Okay, we we are about to learn flying, but I do want to go over to Hogsmeade. Uh, where is going to be best? Uh, I don't think it matters. I'm assuming I can sell anywhere. I just want to sell some of this gear that we don't need. <clears throat> On compass and a mini map work together. It doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Yeah, except when trolls attack. Hello there. In the market for potions, are no, right? No, I'm here to sell. But thanks. Fairly you good. Zero. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I do actually wonder if like any of this is um, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I hope to see you I again. I wonder if like Farewell different uh, vendors give you different prices for stuff. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, we do need to go to gloves. You're going to give me more attack. <clears throat> Finally got to level 12, so I can actually do that. Revelio. Okay. I think we're good. We're going to go back to Hogwarts. We're going to go... Right, we was running from potions class, so we're going to go back to the potions class to find that door, go in the door, see what gear we get. I'm hoping it's going to be something decent, because that puzzle's stupid. Right, why? Why did it start from zero? I, I didn't obviously figure that out by myself. Uh, I was told to by a friend. And yeah, rather annoying that it starts from zero rather than... Um, rather than one. Why wouldn't it start from one? 
One just makes more sense. Okay, we got some goggles, which I've definitely taken those off. There we go. Alright. Let's go... Well, we're gonna go this way. And hopefully we get to flying class. Just wanna see if there's anything else of interest as we get in there. Oh, we didn't wanna go this way. But yeah, because... You keep just like fast traveling, you're gonna miss stuff, and this place is like pretty huge, so. Might have. Oh, damn it. It's gonna be like some stuff that we've missed or we didn't know how to figure out at the time. <laughs> I thought he was like swinging at me for a second. Imagine that's going to be a thing, isn't it? No, nope. it wasn't. I thought that was going to have a page there. And it very much didn't. What is this? Incendio. Uh, Revelio. Well, these three sisters' bells are said to be a tribute to the three similarly named beautiful steep bridges that rise majestically over the glen. It's rumoured that one can hear them ringing the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. You are lock, which I still don't have lock picking yet. Revelio. There is something over this way. Up there. Oh, oh man, that's disconcerting. Allegedly the location of first known instance of an arguably successful cast in Old Bombarda. Date unknown, cast unidentifiable. Awesome. Oh, talent point. Oh, nice. We, well, I guarantee we're going to have to like fly through the rings. We're going to have to wait until daytime though, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> I'm just going to sit outside until daytime because I clearly don't have a dorm room. Everybody grab a broom but yes, we're learning to fly. Up. It's happening. It's happening. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Oh. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, is first and much. foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players. Like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, <laughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. 
Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. <laughs> the brooms are this is brilliant. property. I want them returned in one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I mean, it's not the easiest. I don't get why you don't just like move forward with W and then this next set of rings fly with your mouse. You, you can't move up and down. For more of a challenge. <clears throat> oh what? Oh nice. But yeah, you what? <laughs> what a view! <laughs> Nice day for a flight! Yeah, so... Ah, oh, the old boathouse. <clears throat> Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first Ooh. year. Oh, they're so weird. Oh, okay, no, sorry, yeah, it's not that bad, because you toggle sprint. I thought I had to hold it down. About holding down shift for sprint and pressing control to go down it was very difficult. But you toggle sprint so you don't need to hold it down. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ha! <laughs> 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 this is rather fun! I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Yeah, sure. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Ooh. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the garden, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge! Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it! And the Owlery! That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Oh god. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Most lights have already dismissed cars. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Bye. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. 
You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Albie what from what witches? Hogsmeade. Who are you? A brood and peck, bee supply shop. I wanna take a look at you. Spint witches, I'm assuming that is it. Hogshead, Sweet Square, Steeping Sons, Honey Oaks. Yeah, okay. Why is that currently unavailable? Like, because I didn't really fully completely quest. Hogsmeade. There we go, yeah. So let's head on over to Spint Witches. See if we can get ourselves a broom. Hogsmeade, here I come. Alright, oh, where are we going? Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Yeah, was, Shop's been closed was, since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Of course they are. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have That's a look a around. Thank you. How much are brooms? How many gallons? What are we looking are for like? today? You Eva, comfortable and speedy. Ember Dash. Perfect broom for those of fiery temperament. House broom. Moon trimmer. This broom built for stability. Stylish broom and light touch, quite literally. 600. Eh. Nice Can't doing business you. with you. That item is of the highest quality. Moon trimmer looks kind of gross. <laughs> Wind wisp also don't really. That like. item is of the highest quality. That one's okay. This one is actually probably the best though. Oh, I don't know if I like any of those. And I really want the Thanks for stopping by. Room. Hope to see you again.
unidentified outfit item. Uh, take this to the room of requirement. Hogwarts map, secret rooms. You are just the map chamber. Well, I've only found the map chamber. Okay. All right. What have we got here? In the shadow of the undercroft, I probably find Sebastian at his usual spot in a defense against the dark arts. Can Fringo or Professor Weasley's request that I meet her on the seventh floor corridor? Odd location for a meeting, wonder what she wants. I get the conjuring spell, conjuration spellcraft, and Evanesco. Uh, so, conjuring spell. Oops, sorry, Evanesco. You, Guardian Leviosa, levitate. And controls a movable object. Uh, uh, to find choose distance and rotation regarding Leviosa's automatic class. Summon with your Accio. What am I looking for anyway? Conjuring spell. That's it. Conjures items into existence when cast within the room of requirement. Evanesco vanishes items and returns Moonstone when cast. Okay, so this is all removed. So, yeah, she must be where I get room of requirement from then. So, I feel like we should probably go to her first. Let's go here, and then we're going to have to go upstairs a bit more. Creature-induced injury, but I don't think so. I reckon he was still trying to levitate himself without magic. Goodness, I didn't know that was even possible. Is there anything of interest? Oh, there we go. Here's another one. Another thing. Uh, so we need two. One, two. We need a little goat's head. Don't actually know what that thing is. I say goat's head. Oh, what? Oh, because you got another one. Um. Unicorn, so that's one, four, five, seven. Oh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Weird weather balloon thing. Hey. There you go. Something statue. Stinger dueling gloves, they look kind of cool. Revelio. Nothing else of particular interest. Right. Yeah, Stinger dueling gloves look cool. I kind of like those. What's that? 33 offense compared to 25. Oh my god. It's 8. Nice. Okay. Then we want to go upwards, onwards, and upwards. Revelio. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, Leviosa. Nice. Revelio. Oh, sorry, we didn't collect the page. There you go. Still up here, so oh, that looks nice. Ah. There it is. Tapestry, Barnabas the Barmy. Barnabas could have been a nice name instead of Barnacle. Uh, this tapestry tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempts to train trolls for the ballet. Uh, one can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. Oh, I actually love moving as well. Okay, okay, okay. Let's begin. Professor Weasley. Hmm. 
somewhere away from prying eyes. I mean, we just had like two people walk past us. Not that far out of the loop. Ah, there it is. Room of requirement. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> she seemed so excited about that politeness. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Revelio. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Levioso. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Oh. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, okay. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Mm. Honestly, I kind of just want to get the... It seems like a waste of a talent point, but... I do just want to get another spell set. Evanesco. Expelliarmus! Oh. How do we... enemies permanently sneak up undetected and press F when prompted ah I didn't know you could do that how do you do you need like a full set of spells to actually do this no How do you use your spell sets? Uh, let's go to talents again. Use scroll between or swap sets with F1. I'm sure I did try scrolling and that didn't work. Scroll, yeah, scroll where? That the scrolling doesn't work. <laughs> uh, F1, F2. F1, F2 don't work either. No, I can't do that. I 
Oh, sorry. Do we do? Okay, you'll do when you're out. Excellent work. Sorry. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. They so come out of the spells. We shall discuss its uses later. And then you can switch. Let's it. move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Revelio. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's Wait, still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Interesting. Revelio. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Just yet. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Revelio. Bit offended the room for I needed a bath. Gee thing. self managed to get around in here. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of tiny spaces. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. Oh, am I meant to just pull that out? And there was a space that I could have gone through. Like with the last one that I was struggling to do. Revelio. Accio. Oh, there's the bag. There's a bag here. Dualist attire. Revelio. Mm, can't get through there. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Alright, those are we coming up to a cutscene. 
Oh, she's making me walk. Uh, it looked like this where the flu flame was as well. So I think this is where we're meant to be Yikes! Careful. building our huh? room. Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. <laughs> I look so proud of myself. <laughs> I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Hey. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. <sighs> is it to have our magical properties or any unidentified gear that you collected? Embroidered casual uniform. Oh, yeah, got duelist attire. Oh, man. Plus 32. Oh, cruelty as well. Increased damage of Crucio. Oh, definitely setting me up for the dark path, aren't you? But yeah, that, that's a nice little bit of defense, that is. Nice. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Mm, what about the rest of it? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. No, oh, conjuring. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. 
You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. So, nice you should find both familiar place. since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. I wonder actually, does that mean I can make multiple of them? Because then that would be pretty useful. Small scientific potion station with one burner. With three burners. Is this just like skins? Or is this like an actual is there an actual difference? I don't want this one. Really annoying. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Large potting, growing two plants, requiring large pot. Three plants require medium. Growing a plant requires small. Five plants requiring small. Three plants. Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Might as well get it learned, but I just want to have a little look at... Uh, desk which can be used, okay. Enhanced claw, actually, yeah, there you go. That might be what I need for the traits. Scientific refining station that periodically produces moonstones. I have more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. Obviously we don't have that, so what else we got? Items hung on a wall, decorate, rugs, furniture, decorations, artwork, seating tables, statues. I don't know what kind of artwork we got. Nothing particularly interesting. Okay, let's learn this other I'm spell. ready for the next. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moons. 
You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it. Return to me once you've gathered. How much do we need? Oh, I've got enough. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. You can con conjuration can be used to decorate this. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Conjure wall decorations, conjure floor decorations. Whoops. you've brewed. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Shall we move on? Hey, hey, hey. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Right. Done. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to cut. Uh, let's go. Altering. Things. Yep. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Okay. Alter the style, they change cannot the believe color, how many beasts you have here. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Change color. Scientific wall pediment. Boy, mm, actually, looks kind of gross, but. Oh, what, what am I going to change the size of? Can I change the size of this? Style. Why right, should we do that? Uh, there is a size. Nicely done. There you go. <laughs> now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Oh, dear. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Oh, 
kind of like. Eh, I still do like you though. What's the balcony? Is that this thing? You should be hey, proud of all the potions you brewed. I like that one. Not a balcony on the floor. Alcove. Archway. Oh, there's the balcony. Sorry. That makes sense. The balcony is a thing that's a balcony. I kind of like that one. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Oh, Professor man. Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? It's cool moonlit ambience, natural and earthy, dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. <laughs> Sounds perfect. That was dark, wizardy as you can sound, really, isn't it? Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Uh, the weird thing is, she teaches you like all these spells so you can change your room of requirement, but then you have to go to Deke to change the ambience, even though she's the one that taught Deke to do it. Why can't she just teach me? <laughs> what is happening right now? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay. We should make some stuff. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. So yeah, let's do the DNA. I don't think we can really do much else here. So let's go to the map. Alright, I want to try out this Sebastian quest. Ah, have I gone to the right place? I remember that saying is like outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom, so... Could have very... Oh no, that is it, isn't it? Haha, -ha, we have gone to the right place. Yeah, so I think we might do this mission and then call it a night. So let's wait here for Sebastian. See what there. trouble he can get us into, and then we might call it a night. Sebastian, it's been a while. Yes. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Okay. Taking us to more. There's a secret, secret passage places. just here. It's well disguised. Hmm. 
cold. I mean, I instantly knew how to open that for some strange reason. And why have I left Sebastian behind? How did you find this place? My friend, what Ominous Gorm. What has just happened there? He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, Revelio is between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize him. We should sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. Oh. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Mm. Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh. Ah. <laughs> that just, yeah, that didn't go too well, but we did it. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? I am. Let's do Stick this. to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Mm. Find that a Confringo cast travels a bit Confringo. farther. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. How much further does this go? Well, oh, done. it does go nice, actually. There's a nice little distance. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day... There's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready for more spells. This like is this. exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me about the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, 
there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I want to tell him the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. I want him to lead me down the dark path. The secret undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here Oops. as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. We learnt a blasting curse. Hey, was there a flu flame in there? Did I unlock it? Do Hello, I need Sebastian. to go back in there? Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognised that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh, stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Okay. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Glad I could help. Okay. Curious to see what is next. I think we are going to be calling that a night. There isn't anything coming up. Kind of. Something. Oh, there we go. Professor Garlic's assignment. We've got a new assignment. Map chamber. Professor Fig has returned. Right. Yeah, so we're going to carry on with Professor Fig. He's now returned, and we can get the book and get in back into the map chamber. And I think we're going to leave that for the next episode. Uh, for the next stream so uh, tomorrow I'm probably planning to stream a bit earlier because uh, the weekend I'll probably stream at some point during the day and then do the usual stream at around eight half eight in the evening um, my time anyway I'll probably post it in the community tab um, to, to say when I'm planning on streaming 
might even be earlier than like two. I don't know, it sort of depends how the day goes. I've got a few things to sort of sort out. But I think we'll call it there. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I think that's it. So until next time, see you later.